two short poems. Argument for the value of the humanities. A boss I once had told me this story. When he was at San Francisco State, he went to a big meeting about the problem of increasing enrollments for some courses. The meeting was attended by top-level administrators and faculty. As an example, they said that a large lecture hall where Shakespeare was taught was only half filled. A business administration professor bellowed, I'll teach accounting in that room at that time and fill every sheet, every seat, get rid of Shakespeare. One of the attendees reminded the professor that if they got rid of Shakespeare, the university would not be a university. A liberal arts college offering a wide variety of courses in a variety of fields. They'd be a trade school instead. The business administration professor grunted and huffed. This meeting occurred in the 60s. I wonder what happened to that business professor if anyone remembers his words written or spoken, if anyone remembers his name. Shakespeare is still around, being taught and read throughout the world. And I suspect this will continue for some time, with or without classrooms. There must be something there. Subtext with the Vice Chancellor of Finance's address to UC support staff about the budget crisis. I've got my stash filled with cash, carefully guarded with my learned rhetoric 24-7. You can't have any of it. Don't even think about it. In case you haven't figured it out yet, you're all nameless and faceless and a pain in the ass. <laughs> You're not, you're easy to replace, I'm not. I don't care how long you've worked here, how much you appreciate being in the university environment. I don't care about your rent or mortgage or your child care expenses. It's not my problem. When you have to cut, you cut. And anyway, I'm not responsible for this mess, so stop looking at me like that. You can yell all you want, after all, this is, after all, the world-famous center of free speech. <laughs> I bet you have a few things you'd like to say to me in person. Try and find me. <laughs> Instead, you can email any questions and comments to the address given on my website. I want you to know I fully support the democratic expression of contrary opinions. My assistant, what's her name, would be happy to respond depending on the volume of mail she receives. I'd like to answer your questions myself, give each one my personal attention, but I can't. I'm too busy. I'm about to go on vacation for a few weeks or longer. I've been under a lot of stress lately, and I need to get away from you. <laughs>